Now let's talk about another fighter who just recently came back down here to the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. Nonito Donaire suffered a setback a couple of months ago down in New York. Um, what are your thoughts about what's going on with Nonito Donaire right now? Well, you know, with Nonito Donaire, I think I think sometimes things happen for a reason. I think the best thing that could have happened, even though we hate it and a loss is, is something that nobody wants, especially when you're at that level and all the criticism that he got, nobody wants it. But uh, but I think it was a learning experience for him. You know, we finally got him to come to Oxnard, to come train in Oxnard. He he was here this week already, and uh, and uh, the first thing he says is, "Wow, Robert, you know, this is an awesome gym. You know, I never thought." You know your your gym, your team was was like this. Uh, he's training at four o'clock. So I train everybody two. I give everybody two hours at a time, and he he comes in at, at four o'clock when everybody else is already done uh, to train. So I could train him privately. But he comes in early. He comes in like at two just to hang out because he loved it so much. He wants to come in while Mikey's training, while everybody else is training to see them train and, and hang out, which is, you know, it just tells me that, you know, he's part of the team. You know, other, other, other fighters in other camps, not in my, it's never, it never happens in my camp, but in other camps, you know, they come in or they see people, oh, no, I'll wait in my car. I don't want anybody around. You know, that's what, that's what a lot of people thought. Everybody, a lot of people here in the gym thought, oh, that's what Nonito's going to bring, you know, where he wants private and he wants nobody around. It's totally the opposite, man. He loved it. He, he we're, up, we're training upstairs, and he, go, he sits down at, you know, at, at the, all the pictures and everything, and he says, and he says Robert, you, you have an awesome gym, and I love it here. You know, there's, there's little things. You know, this is the first time he's away from, from his house, away from his wife from his newborn so so it's hard it, it's hard for him but just making the sacrifice to coming on Mondays and and training for for the week uh, even if it's three or four days a week that's all I need because because before he he had he never done it he never done it before he this is the first time in, in, in my gym so if it's three or four days a week I'm already happy uh, and especially what he show what he's showing me just those three days the first day we, he was able to do four rounds four good rounds of sparring but he got tired he, he he's out of shape so i got him connected with cecilio flores my my other conditioning coach here in Oxnard, who works with most of my fighters he uh took him running did did, some, did did the exercise and believe me the third day which was on wednesday the third day that he's part he's part six rounds better than ever you know that, that's the nonito i i want to see the nonito that uh that uh that brings that has that fire and wants to perform and wants to be better than everybody else in the gym training and that's one thing i tell my fighters and i told nonito that's what you need nonito you need, you need to be in the gym where you have you have mikey garcia you have brandon you have maidana you have the mexican russian you got all these guys working their ass off and that pressures you to do as much as they're doing or do more than they're doing. If you're at, in Vegas by yourself, at home, training by yourself, ain't no competition. If you get tired in two rounds, that's it, I'm tired, and that's all you're going to do. Here, you need to get, you know, you need to get up. You got to stay with the, exactly. You know, the kid you're sparring, you know, the kid you're sparring is, is, not, a, is, not, a, is not a world champion. But this kid wants to kick your ass because he's sparring only the air. For him, it's like, damn, if I do against Ronito Donaire, I'm fucking awesome. And, and he's doing that. So I said, that's what you need. This, this is the gym that you need to get ready for your fights because uh, this is a gym that gives you competition and it's going to make you better than what you already are. And he, and he knows that. He knows that. He understood. And, uh, and I'm very happy that he's here. Like I said, if it's three or four days a week, that's all I need.